Hi, so welcome back to Take with Ian. So today I want to talk about functions. So functions, uh, quite a number of programming languages have functions, not quite, but all of them have functions. So today I want to talk to you about functions in Python. Yeah, Python for those who know Python, yeah. So this video is uh, basically for people who have uh, a little bit of skill in Python. But if you're a beginner, don't worry, I'll just go through with you through. So let's jump into the video. So uh, after we, after you have created your folder, so the next thing you want to do, you just want to create a file. So you can, you can name that file main.py. Yeah, that's the common one. So press enter. So uh, what a function is basically, a function is just a, a container for a few lines of code that perform a specific function. Okay, so like we have the print function. We know that in Python, when you type the print function, then you pass some arguments like uh, hello. Yeah, it will print hello in the uh, in on the terminal. So this is a function. Now today I want to, uh, to teach you on how you can define these functions in Python. Like uh, we have to like when we are writing some code, this we have we don't have some inbuilt function that can perform our our what what we want. So uh, let me just delete this. So we can start by we can start by defining our code. So we start by def. So def is a a reserve keyword in Python. So when Python interpreter sees this. It will automatically know that we're defining a function. So after that, then you follow by space. Then you give you pass the function, the function name. Like let me say great user. So great underscore user. So you okay. So in giving in passing the name for the function, is you, you should use a reasonable and precise names like great user you should not use uh, irrelevant names yeah so after that you follow by a parenthesis then after that you uh, you add a full colon in front of the parenthesis just take just take how I've, I've written the code I would, I would, I first of all started by df which is a, a reserve keyword in python that tells the in the python interpreter that you are defining a function then you go to the the function name which is uh, in our case we have great user then followed by parenthesis then outside the parenthesis we have a full column so whenever python interpreter sees a full column it will know that we are defining a block of code a block of code sorry so the next thing we have to do here is just to press enter and then you'll realize that the cursor is automatically indented so let's start uh, by simple things let's even print like hello in on the terminal so print hello there okay so so this one I've just defined a function but it is not it is not yet complete so just remember we have to start by a def then the name then the open par the parenthesis then after that a colon then you indent then the cursor then you write your code so please note that uh, this code this line here should not be written in front here but it should be indented so that's how we are defining functions in python so uh, this function is not uh, is not over here yet but we have to call it like every function in python when you're defining functions you have to call that function so let me show you how we call this function so add two line breaks then get out of the function then you can you just write the function name dot the function name so our function name is grid user so grid user then we with all the parentheses so here we have called the function so let's try to run our code and see what the code did show us so it has printed on the terminal hello there exactly what we wanted so we wanted to print hello hello there on the terminal so let me explain the flow of the of the program here so here we have defined a function df and then the function name then the parenthesis then the colon 
so and then what what we really wanted here was to print hello hello there hello there on the terminal so we use the print function we open then we, then we write our hello there then after that you jump out of the function you can add two line breaks for easy code from uh, easy code formatting yeah so there so then you call your function so like uh, uh, the good thing about functions you can reuse them and then you can plan on how they are supposed to be used like let me show you let me add let me add another print function here so print function is a uh, inbuilt you can add it anywhere so print um uh let me say like uh hey so that so uh what i'm basically intend to do is, is that we can print we can use the print function so the print function will be will be executed first is when our function will be executed first then let me show you just another print function print mm. how are you doing yeah so uh here we here we've just done the same thing so like here it will print this first then we have a function then then the the last print fun uh, function so we can run this let's see what is this and so you'll you'll realize that it will print hey first then hello there then how are you doing so after that uh, so basically that is uh, the basic of defining functions now let me take you to the next step you have uh, heard of parameters and arguments so basically parameters are placeholders for receiving information whereas uh, arguments are the actual values passed to a function like an argument here is hey so this is an argument it, it has been passed to a function but parameters parameters is just a placeholder for receiving information okay so let me clear this code uh, so let me show you how we can use a parameter so in this our function after clearing all that you can come here then let's add a, a parameter like name yeah so this is a parameter this is a name is a parameter so let's go in indent the next line so like uh, want to print so we uh, we can use a so we want to uh, want to uh, like want to get the name of the user then we print it on the terminal so let me show you how we can do this so we can just come and uh, so what we are going to do is just going to like uh, ask uh, like we're going to hi so we will want to print hi plus the name like hi john hi billy hi steve yeah something like that so let's start like like yeah so we are printing hi then outside here you can add plus name yeah so we want to print hi then plus name so we want to jump out of this then call our function add two line breaks for easier code formality so we want to jump out uh, and then call our function so grid grid user then here we want to pass an argument now so we want to pass an argument which is the name now let's say like john yeah so when you print this it will tell you hi john yeah so it will show you hi john oh sorry let me add a space there so that it's easier to read yeah so you get like it's uh, like it, it's tell you hi john so let me explain the flow of our code here so here is the function then you have passed a parameter so anything that you pass inside this parenthesis is a parameter so a uh, parameter is uh, we have passed the par parameter name then we want to print hi plus the name that we're going to be given now we jump out of our code then when we call the when we call the function when we call the function will be uh, will will pass the argument which is john uh, as i told you earlier arguments are uh, actual values passed to function so our argument here is john so when you print this it will just tell you hi john 
uh, so that's all about parameters now uh, let me do the last thing which is the return function so we like we want to like you have heard of return functions like the you want to get a value then you return another an actual number like you want to multiply any uh, even some calculations like 2 times 2 is equals to 4 so you want to return that 4 so we can define our function then square where well, yeah this is the the function name then as you as usual we have parenthesis then you have the we have the full colon so inside our parenthesis we want to we want to pass the parameter which is number so uh this is the number now jump now indent the line then after that you just write a return return number like we are multiplying the number that we are going to be given like the actual number that are going to be given times that number like when you pass an argument of 4 it will be multiplied by 4 which will be 16 so 16 will be printed on the terminal so uh, like here we have returned the number so let's call this function so jump out of the jump out of the of the function like now we want to call the function we call it with the, with the name yeah square then we want to pass an argument an argument now uh, an argument like we can put like four then we want to create a variable for this like variables uh so let's use like number is equals to square so uh on the terminal we want to print this number so you just pre use a print function then number yeah so when you run this code it will print for you 16 on the terminal as you have seen so let me try to run that again so it has printed 16 on the terminal again so that's it guys uh yeah uh perhaps let me just explain the flow of the code once more so here we have defined our function our function is called square as you can see here now we have passed a parameter which is number then we have now we want to return the the number that will that will be passed as an argument in the function like for instance in this number we have passed the argument 4 so it will return 4 times 4 or 4 which 4 is the number so and then we can create a variable for this which is a number variable then we print the outcome which is 4 times 4 which is 16 on the uh, on the terminal so as you can see we have printed that on the terminal which is 16 uh, we can also change the number we can also put uh, even 56 so when we print this yeah it will give you 31 36 so which was very it will take time for somebody to do so that's it guys so it's all for the day so please share my video like my videos and most importantly don't forget to subscribe your help and support will keep this channel running